Well, welcome to Matt Yoga. I'm happy to do a little bit of yoga with you today. Um, if you've got a towel, you could stop this for a moment and grab a towel. I grabbed a thinner beach towel, um, something that's thin but pretty long or a scarf or a belt or something. Um, pause me and go grab that. That'll be something nice to have. To start with, you might like to put it underneath your hips just to lift the hips a little. You could sit on a pillow if you've grabbed a belt or something like that, um, or a towel or whatever might just help you sit up a little bit taller. Makes it a little easier for the spine to, to be tall and not quite so much effort there. You can let the shoulders roll back. Maybe let them roll forward. And then maybe wiggle the head around a little bit. And then just lengthen up through the crown of the head. You could let the hands rest on your legs with the palms facing down or facing up or even your hands stacked one inside the other. And just let your eyes fall shut. If it's not comfortable to close your eyes, you could gaze down your nose, or down toward the floor. And take a nice deep breath in. And a deep exhale. Take a deep breath in. And a deep exhale. And just take a moment to go inside. Noticing how it is that you feel this morning, this afternoon, whatever time you might be doing the class. What's your internal weather system like? What are you feeling physically? What do you feel emotionally or mentally? And just like you would check outside out the window or even walk outside to see what the weather's like, see if you can do that with yourself right now. Noticing if the stories come in, the judgment, the expl explanation. And see if you can instead just note what you're experiencing. Taking a moment to scan down from the top of the head all the way through the body. Notice how you feel. Is there anything calling for attention that maybe you could breathe into and use the exhale to help release some of the tension? So maybe today you'd like to dedicate your practice to someone, to yourself, to someone else, a group of people, humans in general. Maybe you would like to set a dedication. Maybe with that dedication, there's a word or a phrase that comes along with it. I'm confident. I am peace. I am love. Any word or phrase that's coming to you that would support your practice, you could use that to guide this practice, this time to connect with yourself. And draw your attention to your breath, allowing the belly to expand on the inhale. And as you exhale, letting all that breath go. Inhaling, expanding the belly. Exhale, letting that breath go. One more like that. Inhale, expand the belly. Exhale, let go. On your next exhale, drop your chin to your chest, letting the weight of the head pull the neck forward. 
deep breath in and a deep exhale. Inhale, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, let your head roll over to one side, letting the ear drop to the shoulder, the head relax over. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, roll your head through the center over to the second side, letting the ear drop to the shoulder, the shoulders relax down. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, roll your head through the center and draw a circle with your neck if it feels good for you. If it doesn't, you can look right and left or up and down, knowing that you're in control of how big or small this circle is and at the pace of the circle. If it feels good to let your shoulders kind of move with it, your spine, feel free to do so. Pause and circle the other direction. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Noticing maybe even the, the music, the sounds that your neck is making. Lengthening back up through the crown of the head, helping to loosen up some of those muscles, some of the tension that needs to be let go of. And then take your shoulders and hug them into your ears. Deep breath in. As you exhale, drop them down. Inhale, pull them into the ears. Exhale, drop them down. And then just roll the shoulders back. And roll the shoulders forward. And then inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Exhale your hands down through heart center. Inhale, reach arms up overhead. Exhale the hands down through heart center. Inhale, reach arms go up. Exhale the hands down. Inhale, reach arms up overhead. Gentle twist to the side this time as you come down. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, twist to the other side. Inhale, reach. Exhale, twist. Inhale, reach. Exhale, twist. Inhale, reach. Exhale, twist. Again, inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, the arms up overhead, and then exhale your hands right down through heart center. Open the arms up wide to the side. Let your whole spine press forward, maybe lifting the chin if it feels good. Notice where the shoulders are. Pull them down your back and exhale, round in. Inhale, open. Seeing if you can get the whole spine to move, maybe even down into the pelvis. Maybe you feel it rocking back and forth with you. Just moving in a way that feels good for you. Inhale, open wide. Exhale, round in. Wrap your arms all the way around you. Give yourself a big hug. You can tuck the chin and wiggle the head around a little if it feels good. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. Notice which arm you put on top. Reach your arms out wide and then put the other arm on top. Rounding in, tuck the chin. You can round the back, maybe wiggle the head. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. And then release your arms. Let's switch the cross of the feet. Let the other foot come in the front. And then just to inhale, open up. Let the whole spine push forward. Pull your shoulders down and back. And then exhale, round in. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. And take one hand, your right hand, put it down on the mat. Reach up and over with the left arm. Notice this bottom shoulder. Let it drop away from the ears. You reach up and over. And then inhale, lengthen up. And exhale over. Inhale, reach up. Exhale over. Finding lots of length in the spine as you reach up. And then exhaling over. Stay over this time. Creating that space in the spine before we reach up and over. Giving lots of space between the vertebrae. Let the head relax down, this bottom shoulder relax away, and then turn your top palm toward the ceiling. Take a breath in. As you exhale, start to reach through your fingers, lowering that arm down beside you. Pause, take a deep breath in. 
Exhale, continue down. Pause again, really extending through the fingers. Take a breath in. Exhale, continue all the way down. Use the bottom hand to press the torso up. Head comes up last and we'll reach up and over to the other side. Left hand down, right arm reaching up and over. Inhale, find length. Exhale, reach over. Inhale, find length. Exhale, over. Once more, inhale, reach up. Exhale, over, stay over this time. Relax this bottom shoulder away from your ear. Reaching up and over, but let your head relax down. Turn the top palm toward the ceiling. Take a breath in. As you exhale, start to extend through the fingers, really reaching as much as you can with that arm. Pause, deep breath in. Exhale, continue, seeing if you can let the tension dissolve as you exhale. Pause again, deep breath in. Exhale, continue all the way down. Use the bottom hand to press the torso up. Roll the shoulders back and roll the shoulders forward. And then if you've got a second towel, you can keep one underneath you, if not, and then you can grab the one that was um, underneath you or whatever you got um, to work with here. And if you don't have something, you can always just circle your arms. But if you do, grab onto it. Um, I like the diagonal so that you don't have to hold on to too much. So if you're able to kind of just grab each of the corners, that might be helpful. And then take a nice deep breath in. Maybe I'll do it like that. Hopefully you can still see me. <laughs> Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. And then exhale the arms down behind you. Inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale them down in front of you. Inhaling, reaching up. Exhale down behind you. Inhaling up. Exhaling to the front. Inhaling up. Exhaling back behind. Inhaling back up. This time, keep the right arm up and use the left arm to help pull the right arm. So you're going to get a little stretch there. You're in charge of how much stretch. So do what feels good to you, but get a nice stretch. Take a breath in. And a deep exhale. And then take that right arm back behind you. Both arms are behind and take the left arm up, trying to keep tension on whatever you've grabbed. And then bring the arms down in front of you. And take the right arm up. Exhale it back behind. Both are behind and take the left arm up. And then bring it to the front. And then we'll switch that. So take the left arm up and pause for a moment. And we'll get that stretch through the arm. Take a breath in and a deep exhale. Take another deep breath in. As you exhale, bring the arms down behind you. Bring the right arm up over your head and then exhale it in front. Left arm goes up, take it back behind. Right arm comes up and take it around to the front. One more time, left arm goes up, take it behind and take the right arm up and then bring it around in front of you. Excellent, so relax that down. You can roll the shoulders a little bit that feels good, roll the other direction. We'll make our way down onto the floor. Use the sides of your legs to help you roll yourself down, laying your spine down on the mat, nice and easy, letting your back rest down on the ground. Take a breath in and a deep exhale. Extend your legs out long for your final Shavasana. If it's not comfortable to have your legs completely flat, you could put a pillow underneath them or you can always bend your knees. Sometimes it's nice to walk the feet wide and let the knees knock together. So just some options. Let your shoulders tuck under and your palms face up. And then let your eyes fall shut. If that's comfortable or gaze down the cheekbones. You could always put something underneath your head. You can lengthen the tailbone down towards your feet to create a little more space in the low back. You find something that feels good for you so that you can let the muscles just rest. Taking in all the benefits of your movements, of your efforts. Drawing your attention up to your forehead. See if you can relax any of the tension that you may feel at the forehead. Letting that just melt away. Just 
maybe noticing the space between your eyes, seeing if you can let that tension melt away. Let your eyes rest in their sockets. Your tongue relax back into your throat. Letting the hips rest. Letting the feet fall open from the hips. And just resting completely in Shavasana. Take a deep breath in, a deep exhale. You can gently begin to wiggle your toes and fingers, maybe moving your head from side to side. And bringing some awareness to your body, but just stay soft in your body. And bring your knees in towards your chest. And you can gently roll over onto your side, pausing in the fetal position for a moment. And then you can use your top hand to press yourself off the mat, coming up to a seated position with your hands at heart center. Let your head bow to your heart. Just take a moment to pause, check in and notice how you feel right now. And what's your internal weather system like? Maybe connecting back to your intention, to the affirmation that you started with. And bring your thumbs to your brow giving gratitude to yourself for practicing today. And bring your hands back to heart center. Thank you for sharing this time with me today. I hope that you feel the benefits of your yoga practice. But I'll close with the word namaste, meaning the love and light in me honors and sees the love and light in you. Namaste.